Hello there my friends who are listening to eBird Online and I'm back with another review. And the torrid love torn tale of Soja Boy and Kim continues. So last week this couple were petitioning, somewhat unsuccessfully, to Soja Boy's mum in order that they might get married. Under Soja Boy's inept tutelage, Kim purchased a cow, or in fact a bull, for an unknown sum of money. When presenting her with this cow, without pause for breath, Soja Boy's mum and family called this a bribe. And then she also said, no way, no how, are you marrying my son? And although she had quite a bad attitude as she said it, I can't help but feel sorry for Soja Boy's mum. Imagine carrying a child for nine months, risking your life, wrecking your body. And then that very self-same child comes home with not just baby goat Lisa, but also Kim. I've got to say I do feel for her. And so guys, that's what I'm going to talk over this week. But the main question I would like to know, and this pertains to Soja Boy, and I'm pretty certain it's a question that will have crossed all of your minds as well. And looking at Soja Boy sitting in his mum's living room in Sokoto, I firmly believe it's at the very forefront of his mind. I have just one question. It's just the one question. It's quite a poser. And no, guys, it's not where are the white women at. It's this. If the cow gets sent home, will I still get to keep my commission? Hmm, I wonder. It is one to ponder. But before we discuss that and other important questions, please, if you haven't done so yet, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And a massive thank you to everyone that's subscribed thus far. I do appreciate it and keep the comments coming. Oh, and if you enjoy the video, please don't forget to smash that like button. Right, so without further ado, I give you Kim and Soja Boy. Right, so we pick up where we left off last week. And if you're anything like me, in a world of embarrassment. Kim was sitting there all hopeful, imagining she was going to, somehow with, well, someone's charm, charm Soja Boy's family. Whilst we all knew different, we all knew she didn't have a hope in hell. I also didn't like the way that Soja Boy's mum looked at Kim as she walked in. I genuinely think she'd rather have that cow sitting on the sofa saying it wanted to marry Soja Boy than Kim. That's honestly how much I think she dislikes this whole situation. So last week, if we remember, Kim put her hand up and said, I'd like to be allowed to speak. And guys, I did wonder what she was going to say. There was a hushed silence over the room. And Kim began her election campaign. She started out by saying, I really wish you'd get to know me. <laughs> it's just as well they don't, Kim. It's just as well they don't. She told them that they're not seeing her for who she is. Again, that's a good thing. If they knew the truth of who you actually were, they'd kick you out of the door. Probably something like this. And she continues, I'm not that kind of a person. I didn't give the cow as a bribe. And on this I make her right. I think she thought it was some sort of custom. And then Kim decides to talk to production. She tells them, I understand that Usman's ex-wife really, really hurts them. Not just him, but the whole family. But they're stereotyping me. They think this is how all Americans are. And it's so dumb that I have to defend myself this much. Oh Lord, Kim, what is it you don't get? You are allegedly 54 and the rest. And so in not too many years, you will need looking after. That's one. Two, you don't share a common language or religion or custom. Three, and this is the most important one, you cannot provide Soja Boy with children. And I think they're the three main reasons that they don't like you. Other reasons might include the fact that you'll whisk Soja Boy off to America. And also that you're very begrudgingly allowing him to have second and third wives, which in that part of the world is customary. And then of course there's no and then of course no mother would want to know that their son is moving off to a foreign land. I do concede that baby goat Lisa didn't help the scenario at all. But the truth be told, you know that you are not ideal for her son. You know you're not an ideal partner, so I don't know why you're so surprised. Guys, do you know what I would absolutely love? I would love it if Jamal rocked up with a 55-year-old Polynesian woman and casually declared that he's moving to the Cook Islands and he'll see you when he sees you. Do you think you'd like it? If you think you may not, that may well help your empathetic side see things from Usman's mum's point of view. And she and Usman maintained the cow was not a bribe, but in fact a gift. But in the end, I had to take my hat off to Kim because she said, I already have a 26 year old. I can't have any more children, but I'm not opposed to the idea of him marrying somebody else 
to fulfil that desire of his. And when this was translated to the mum, she said to Soja Boy's brother, I'm not opposed to the idea of him marrying an older woman, but I think that he should marry a younger, Hausa girl first and have his children. And she finished up by saying, that is our stance. And then she said, kindly apologise to her and ask her to leave. Wow, Kim is not going to like this. Soja Boy translates to Kim and she virtually turns her back on him as he's saying it. She's not looking to be that second wife. Oh, well, Kim, maybe you should try third or fourth. <laughs> but what happened next had me absolutely breathless. His mum just got up and walked out of the room. His brother felt the need to translate and said, I think she doesn't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> she can't. She's not here. Oh, Lord. So Kim and Usman got up and left and took a taxi back to the hotel. So when they got back to the hotel, guys, they started having a little chat around the situation, everything that had happened. And so the boy started saying, well, in my country, things are different, and I have to do what my mum says, and my mum's second only to God. And so I think I will just have to marry a house girl first, but you can marry me straight afterwards. But Kim was already shaking her head, and she said, absolutely no way. She said, I can't take that. I've always been put second in all of my relationships. I want to be the first wife. Hmm, interesting. Maybe the prison guard was put before her in her last relationship. You know, her marriage to the felon. And guys, as she was saying this, I couldn't help but think, well, regardless of the order in which you get married, you still might be second. Kim, you're still accepting a relationship in which you are not the only woman. Given that you weren't brought up in that culture, it can only spell disaster. So right after this conversation, Soja Boy went to speak to production and he proved to everybody once more that he doesn't take Kim seriously. Guys, he tells production, I'm going to ask my mum once more if I can marry Kim first, but if she says definitely no, I won't allow it, then Kim will have to come second. But I think most likely she'll accept it. What? <laughs> She's just finished saying absolutely no way to you. Kim has just said if she has to be the second wife, it's over. Soja Boy hears, let me at that yummy. Guys, you really couldn't make it up. And so the next time you see this crappy couple, this whole saga is set to get worse. <laughs> How can it, I hear you ask? It can. And it's been kind of building and bubbling all season. Soja Boy has this, I don't know, persona about him. He seems to think that Kim should be so grateful to be going out with him and all and all of his feelings of superiority are encapsulated in the last segment of this week's episode. And so the couple go out for drinks and we all know what that means. For every two drinks, there's at least one argument. And so they sit down and so the boy decides to get a manicure and a pedicure and Kim tells us that she loves a put-together man. Sometimes, guys, I do wonder about Soja Boy. I wonder if he likes the same a put-together man. But Kim really is full of crap when she says, I like a put-together man. Do you? Guys, here's Kim's ex-husband. You know, the double murders guy. Does he look put-together? He's a little bit more put-away than put-together. And so they talk once more about the whole wife situation. And Kim reasserts the fact, and Kim reasserts the fact that the plan was the couple get married, they get the K-1, and then Soja Boy comes to America. Oh, Kim, that's still the plan. He just wants to have his first wife with him when he comes. <laughs> but Kim said, no, nope, I'm not going to be the second wife. And I don't mind if I leave here single, but I won't be a second wife. And guys, this is where Soja Boy's attitude just switches up. Soja Boy slouched back in his chair and became immediately combative. And he said, I can't believe you can't compromise for me. I'm not going to beg you. I'm not begging. Look at everything I've done for you. I took you from fan to super fan to friend to potential girlfriend, to girlfriend. Uh, what? Oh my God, Soja Boy. I can't even believe he said that. <laughs> All the way from fan to potential girlfriend, to girlfriend. Oh my Lord. He really does think he's something. He really does. And he continued, and you won't compromise at all. I've always compromised in this relationship far more than you. And then he decided to vent to production. He said, Kim is disrespectful, saying she's just going to break up just like that. I've invested two years here. Uh, Soja Boy, so has Kim. The goalposts have changed. And so, of course, her feelings have changed too. 
Let's be real, you knew all along Kim wanted to be your one and only wife. Now suddenly, you've demoted her to second wife. But Kim's standing firm, and she says, I'm not going to be anyone's second wife. And so Soja Boy said, well, you can go then. But then he said, I think, one of the most disrespectful things I've heard on this franchise to date. I have beautiful and sexy women all around me, and I could have any one of them. But I rejected all of those women and said, it shouldn't be beauty, it should be love. Really, Soja Boy? On that basis, you'd be dating yourself. But Kim heard the diss loud and clear, and she said, oh, so I'm ugly now, am I? And of course, she walked out. But Soja Boy then said to production, if Kim breaks up with me, she'll regret it far more than I will. And he reasserted again. My DM is full of rich, young, beautiful ladies. The only person who is losing is you, not me. Yes, I'll lose your love, but that's it. And back in the hotel room, Kim is in floods of tears. And she said, I don't want to see his family. I'm not going to do it. Forget it. He's speaking to me like I'm some ugly effing bitch. Fuck him for saying that. Does he love me? Is this all fake? And that's where we end shenanigans for this week. So what does the eBird make to all of this? Well, Soja Boy, I think, has shown his true colours. Obviously, we all knew he wanted kids. And I do understand his predicament because his family won't let him marry Kim first. But there was absolutely no need to be so rude to Kim. You never ever tell any woman, oh, I can have someone far more beautiful and far younger than you. I'm with you for your personality. And I really started thinking about this. I remember the time when Kim said to her son, Jamal, that he really likes older women and white women and curvaceous women. Well, it turns out that he doesn't see her as a beauty or anything that he particularly fancies. And so this really has pulled the rug from under her feet. She now knows all of that talk from Soja Boy was absolute codswallop, which I knew as well anyway. He was two weeks away from putting Zara on the show last season and you were more or less well, the consolation prize. But I do think it was unforgivable the way that he spoke to her today. And also he's really angry because Kim said, well, we'll have to end it then if I'm not going to be your first wife. And he said, I've wasted two years on this whole relationship. Well, so has she. She's wasted two years with you saying, don't worry, we'll get married. And now you're saying, don't worry, we'll get married. And at some point down the line, I'm marrying others before and having kids. Who knows what will happen? What is she supposed to do whilst you get married to another woman and have children with her? Is she supposed to sit and wait and hope that you still want to marry her? He really is just seeing everything from his own point of view. Soja Boy really does have astonishing levels of arrogance and self-importance. Last week he'd have us believe, everybody knows me from my region. I'm the most famous person. And as he walks through the streets, he's much more likely to turn stomachs than heads. He goes into a hotel. What do you do for a living, sir? What's your name? Nobody knows you, Soja Boy, save for fools like me who watch this franchise. And previously, Kim was super delusional about Soja Boy. Oh my God, I've never met a girl like this in my entire life. Well, luckily enough, neither have we, and I hope never to meet one again. He's terrible. He's a narcissistic character who never had a single belief in anything other than his own advancement. We knew he didn't love Kim, but now he's just proved it. He has ulterior motives, and they're now coming to the surface. Soja Boy needs to go back to school and do the maths quickly, Soja Boy. 100% of one vagina, or 0% of two. You decide. So guys, let me know what you think. Do you think Soja Boy's behaviour was despicable this week? I really think it was. I don't mind the idea of a relationship which is transactional. I know lots and lots of people on 90 Day Fiancé have this. But I think both parties need to be honest with each other. Do not pretend someone's the love of your life and you're with them for altruistic reasons when it's clear you want a green card. Especially when you're lying to them and lulling them into a sense of false security because they think you too love them. Soja Boy very subtly changes the goalposts all the time. Last time he lied about Zara and the whole time he was talking to Kim, he was with Zara. And this time now the goalposts have moved regarding the couple getting married. So yes, I'd love to know what you think. Let me know in comments down below and I'll get on with my next video. Guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. All of that good stuff. Make eBird a happy eBird. Thank you so much for listening. You've been listening to eBird Online and I bid you good day.